All right. All right. Y'all want to know what happened when you face your fears head on? Okay. So um, I've been exposing to a lot of people that my oldest daughter's baby father got connected to the sex trafficking ring um, out of spite at me. He knew one of my biggest traumas had been being molested by my mother. So to get back at me, he got joined up in the sex trafficking ring because he uh, has a nice face and he knows how to chat people up. Well, he ranked up quite easily, so money was very easy for him to come by. Also, he was given access to a lot of new uh, drugs that could basically fuck up people's minds so MK Ultra could get to him, all right? So, One would say, ain't you barking up the wrong tree putting out this information? No. See, when danger come looking for you, danger causes havoc in your life. But what happens when you knock on the door of danger? Danger do what? When danger trying to rest, danger's like, what you doing? I'm not ready to go to work again. What you doing knocking on my door? Come on, danger, let's talk. Danger said, look, I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to come see you when I come see you. No, Danger, we're going to talk now. So Danger, it starts ignoring you, right? And Danger said, I'm going to get your ass. Now, what happens when you just, come on, Danger. Danger starts getting annoyed. Danger starts getting help to get you. You know? But the fact that you keep knocking on Danger's door, Danger don't even want to leave the house because Danger finds out that whoever Danger sent to get you can't even find you. You understand? This is why all this fear illusion magic tells us we got to hide. No, keep knocking on Danger's door. Danger, you went above and beyond to seek me out, so I'm about to, I'm coming to your door. This is where Danger uses all his resources to pack up and move. So you might be knocking on the door of Danger, and Danger just trying to get a break from you, and Danger could have moved. Now, what happens when your intuition tells you Danger done move? And you knock on Danger new door, and Danger like, well, how the fuck you find my house? My house wasn't listed. And you keep knocking on Danger's door. Come on, Danger, let's talk. Well, Danger's how to pray because Danger has an unlisted address. Okay? Come on, Danger. Come on, Danger. Come on out. This is where Danger starts figuring out, I need to move. Danger's on the run now. See, remember Danger wanted you to be on the run, but then Danger's on the run. So, Imagine danger done ran here, done ran there, and you've been knocking on every door that danger done lived in. Danger run out of resources. All right? Danger knows that you knocking on every door that ain't even there, letting people know. You seen danger? You seen danger? Danger ain't got nobody yet they can trust. So, what do you do with dangerous resources? Well, every abandoned house that danger has, you house people in it. So when danger tries to go back and get inside one of his houses, the locks done change. The whole atmosphere of the house done change. Danger don't got no house to go to. So, Danger likes to put you in fear by saying, I'm looking for you. You need to be looking over your shoulder, paranoid. But when you face your fears and you let them know, I want every fear illusion from my psyche to come to the surface. These bitches, they like, what the fuck? Okay, okay, when we was created, we were meant to chase you. Not you come calling us. So this is where you say, come on. 
Every fear, illusion that I've ever dealt with come to the surface. Come now. These bitches going to come and they going to be afraid. And you demand them. Speak truth. And they're going to tell you everything. They're going to tell you who sent them to you. They're going to tell you how it was created. They're going to tell you the magic that was done with it. And then when you get a clear understanding, you say, now return to sender. Now the people that created these illusions and things like that, this is like they're a representation of danger. They wanted you to be on the run, right? They want you to be looking over your shoulder. But what happens when you come calling for them? They never saw that coming. That's why the first time you come calling for them, they they like, what? This is when they start gang stalking. When the gang stalking don't work, they get scared. And they want to make a fool out of you and have try to set you up while you knocking on the old door. And they don't move and they be open. Did, did you did you get them? Did you get them? And the people just like we didn't even get to go to the old house. So when you start facing every fear that somebody sent your way from every lifetime, the matrix that the matrix planted. You start to realize you really just want to survive, but you're afraid to die. So you want other people to feel this fear instead of you just taking the time to do what you need to do. Well, the fact that you waged a war on me and my freedom, and you took away what I love, I'm not going to have no resentment toward you. But I'm about to knock on your goddamn door. I'm going to knock on your door so much to the point, everything you took from me, you're going to get back to me. You took my happiness, you're going to give me my happiness. And you don't have to actually physically do this and knock on somebody's door. You can simply just be taking the time to pamper yourself in the tub, doing shadow work. Every time you choose to face your fears, Whoever says you fear psychosis feels it and they feel scared, so they try to psychically attack you. Every time you decide to go into your shadow side and understand the root of it, whoever created the trigger in you feels this. And when you just go through the motions, even with the psychic attack, these people get a taste of their own medicine. So this is why they get more nasty towards you. Because they do not want to experience the false realities that they created within you. They don't know how you got rid of it. Because these uh, fear illusions were strategically implanted so it will be difficult to remove. In fact, some of these fear illusions and fear psychosis was created so early in your childhood, they had, they, they, they're trying to figure out, how did you uncover this? Won't nobody supposed to be able to uncover that? In fact, I know when I was a baby, my family only got into magic because I was naturally magical. They was doing all kinds of experimentation on me with magic. They was trying to see how it would be impacted. They didn't really understand what they were doing, but they saw something happening. So they didn't take the time to understand the essence of the magic that they were doing. But they was able to hide behind it. They was able to attract certain things while going to church and while having me as a shield for what they were doing. Well, she just the odd one out the bunch. We'll pray for her, they would say. So, when you actually are a pure magical being, and you understand that learning magical abilities takes time, especially so you can understand how potent your intentions are and the rituals you're doing with them, you'll start to notice you know how to go through a ritual 
and honor it. But if you just messy and you just doing something and you create fear psychosis in people, when this shit goes back to you, you do not know how to get rid of it. So in this time, you're being asked to face your biggest fears. All right? It's going to pay off. Because by the time, you know, spiritual justice will definitely be having these people on their knees begging you for forgiveness. Well, when it's time for actual justice in the real world, it ain't going to be where they looking smug and cocky. They're going to be looking beat down. They're going to be nothing but evidence piled up against them. Because supernaturally, everything they did is about to come out. That's the only reason some of them trying to get close to you right now. And uh, when it's time, if you do have to go to court, when it's time to, uh, re- you know, present this, uh, this evidence, these people are going to start throwing everybody that they work with under the bus. So this is how it's been set up. So all your karmics got linked up to each other. This karma, that karma, this karma, that karma. And you're going to be like, wait, wait, wait. Why was such and such a work with such and such? Well, this is part of God's plan. And it's a gift. Because this lifetime, all the karmics are going down together. 